In a groundbreaking new discovery, stem cells have been found within the pituitary gland. From Science Daily. A group of scientific researchers which were under the guidance of the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory have located stem cells within the brain which were at this point only theorized to exist. These cells are found within the pituitary gland, and in animal testing have shown the capacity to encourage the pituitary glands of laboratory rats to grow and repair even beyond the period of fetal development. The scientists have deduced that these stem cells are different than the majority of other stem cells in adults, and the stem cells within the mature pituitary gland are also unique from stem cells which develop into the pituitary in the womb. This new discovery leads researchers to believe that the pituitary gland might even have the ability to alter its function in both adults and adolescents, adapting to traumatic physical and emotional stress as well as regular physiological occurrences, such as menopause, puberty, and pregnancy. Sadly, there are many ways in which coming to maturity leads to reduced possibility. As a fertilized zygote continues to undergo cellular division to develop into a complete animal, the majority of the cells go on a continuing path toward specialization, after which they are intended for one purpose and one purpose only, to contribute to the entirety of a living organism. After the cells have been specialized, they have no method of change classification and help the body in other ways. For cells like those in the brain, which have minimal ability to reproduce, this is a significant roadblock which prevents the body from recovering from many forms of traumatic brain injury, and the same affliction affects many other organs as well. There is one class of cells in the mature body for which these laws of specialization do not apply, however. These cells are called stem cells. This minority of cells can develop into a large number of different types of cells within the body, and some of these cells can transform into any cell that the human body can generate. These stem cells, which have a strong ability for diversification, are harvested from embryos which are only days old, that remain merely clumps of identical or nearly identical cells which can eventually form a fully grown human being. These embryos are generally the result of in vitro fertilization and are provided by physicians and scientists who specialize in fertility treatment. In the process of creating a viable fetus, doctors create some embryos which are feasible to implant them within the womb. The majority of these embryos will not be used, however, and they will otherwise be destroyed if not used for scientific reasons. Although these embryonic stem cells offer a world of opportunity regarding general and regenerative medicine, there is a significant amount of controversy surrounding the procedure by which they are procured. Some social and religious organizations oppose harvesting these embryos for any purpose other than fertilization because they perceive this as against God's plan. Although these embryonic stem cells are the most effective at cell diversification, there are some other forms of stem cell which do not develop even in adulthood and can provide a lesser yet still vital range of possibilities. Some of these stem cells can mature into one particular kind of cell developing as older cells grow in age and are unable to perform their function optimally. Still, others begin to emerge only to supplant tissue which has been damaged or destroyed. There, these are just the two forms for which we have the most knowledge. Scientists believe that there may be certain types of stem cells which, under particular genetic or environmental triggers, play a role in beginning or propagating cancers. Although they are of incredible significance, it is incredibly difficult to detect stem cells among the myriad of other cells that make up complex tissue formations. Some years back, neurological scientist Dr. Grigory Anikolopov and his associates invented a new way to locate the stem cells which develop into new brain cells which are hidden in the complex arrangement of brain tissue. Dr. Anikolopov is a teaching member of the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Scientists have already learned about a gene which is named Nestin, which is active within the undeveloped stem cells among the neurons. The team at the Cold Spring Harbor Lab were able to augment the genetic code of laboratory mice to where areas in which Nestin developed in the cells 
were also programmed to emit green glow when flashed with UV range light. These newly engineered mice provided researchers with a critical signpost which could direct them to stem cells which have persisted into adulthood. Because of the initial research of Dr. Enikolopov, there are now nearly 100 other research laboratories worldwide, which are using these unique mice to locate stem cells in human beings in the muscle and liver tissues, as well as in follicles of hair and many other forms of tissue. One area where scientists have long theorized that stem cells were either active or dormant was within the pituitary gland. This pea-sized organ of the brain sits near its base and is responsible for the secretion of numerous hormones which control multiple vital and non-vital processes all around the body and in nearly, if not all, of its organic tissues. Mice have a slightly different developmental cycle than human beings, which allow their pituitary glands to be studied more easily. The pituitary gland develops in the womb. But after birth, the pituitary undergoes a second spurt of growth in which the organ expands quickly and expansively. It is theorized that this form of expansion may be related to the role of human stem cells, which persist into adulthood. Dr. Anatoly Gleiberman is a member of the laboratory of M. G. Rosenfeld, esteemed pituitary specialist at UC San Diego. Dr. Gleiberman sought out and made contact with Dr. Eni Kolopov and the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory to begin an attempt at collaboration in which the two labs would pool their theories and resources to search for stem cells within the pituitary. The scientists then utilized the genetically modified mice to identify cells within the frontal lobe of the pituitary, which contains nestin, and could potentially harbor adult stem cells. This location, known as the anterior pituitary, is where human growth hormone is secreted, and is also where scientists had evidence that these stem cells likely were somewhere in this area. After locating areas which could potentially contain these stem cells, they used other scientific methods to conclude which areas of the pituitary indeed included real adult stem cells. Dr. Eni Kolopov explains that in the human pituitary gland, there are six primary cell lineages, which make up every cell within the developed pituitary gland. He also says it is possible to prove that one form of adult stem cell present within the pituitary is a progenitor cell, which can grow according to all six evolutionary pathways. Each of these six cells at maturity can produce a different hormone.